I haven't won a championship in a rebuild in a minute now. I've lost in the finals in the past couple rebuilds, and I'm sick of it. Today, with the Josh Jackson Lakers rebuild, I'm guaranteeing we're winning in NBA Finals. So, what is going on, everybody? Today, we're here with the Josh Jackson Lakers rebuild. So, we all thought that Lonzo Ball was a sure in lock to go to the Lakers at two, but apparently there's speculation that maybe he went to their camp overweight, out of shape. And now there's been rumors that the Lakers are going to take Josh Jackson at number two and roll with D'Angelo Russell as their point guard for the future. So that looks like that could happen. So we're going to be doing that type of rebuild today. If you guys want to see more offseason scenario rebuilds, drop this video a thumbs up. Let's see if this video go over 1,000 likes. We, which we could try to do that. And let me know in the comments other offseason scenario rebuilds. I could do maybe a trading Andre Drummond or maybe a Dennis Smith to the Magic at uh, six, I think they're picking, or five. Uh, no, six. And we could do something like that. So just let me know in the comments below. So they actually picked start today. So start today, I was complaining about it all on Twitter. So I comment section searching to steal quick plug there. Link in the description. That start today, they just never fixed it. But they finally fixed it. So it's pretty cool. So we're going to go to the draft here. I don't know if the draft lottery is going to be right. Let me just, yeah, I want to make sure that we're going to have, that we can jump up to two. But no matter what, I'm getting Josh Jackson. The lottery projected is right, but I don't know how it's going to end up. Like, if we don't get our pick, I'm going to have to turn on trade override. And, okay, we got our pick at three. So, ooh, the Magic got number one. So, no matter what, if Josh Jackson doesn't go number one, which I hope he doesn't, and... I'm going to be able to do a trade no matter what. So I'll probably see, I'm going to see you guys at rookie signings with Josh Jackson, no matter what I'm going to get him. All right, guys, so we have Josh Jackson here. We also got Josh Hart and Jared Allen fell all the way to the second round for some reason. So we got him there, which is actually kind of a steal. Not going to lie. And Josh Hart from Villanova, Allen from Texas, and the main man, Josh Jackson. So I don't know what they're going to do here pretty much. If they're going to start Ingram, they'll probably start Ingram just because he's older by a year. I don't even know if he's older, but like he's obviously more experienced because he was in the league last year. We're going to pick up nobody else's contract. We'll bring back Swaggy P. Why not? Larry Nance, Randall, and Russell, of course. I'm going to pick up their options. So, free agency. Obviously, there's been rumors that they're going to get Paul George in 2018, so I might wait for that. But then we would have so many wing players. And this team needs a big man. Or needs big men, not a big man. They need like multiple. So we're gonna see like um Zubach or Zubak. He is definitely not a championship center, most likely, but we'll see. There's nobody really here I want to throw money at. No power forward here. I would love to get like KD, but we don't need him. We don't need a point guard or a shooting guard really right now, do we? So we would roll with I can't even check the rotation. Player uh contracts. We would roll, I guess, these two guys. I guess we can get a shooting guard and then Clarkson come off the bench. We have a lot of small forwards. Jesus. We don't even have cap. Um, alright. I want to trade Mozgov and Dang. Like this would be the ultimate goal here is just to move Mozgov and Dang's contract to a team and to a trade fighter that wants to take both these contracts on. Like the hmm, I would save a lot of money from the Kings here. I would save like 16 mil. And I would save like 23 mil warriors thank you we're screwing over the warriors here we're screwing over the warriors i'm not gonna go after is steph curry there though let me just see if steph curry's here steph curry is here no way they're gonna have enough money and eh, i'm not gonna sign steph curry we'll make we'll make unrealistic signings next off season so i think this is gonna be the team for now i'm not gonna make any big moves like point guard i guess i'm gonna move i don't know if i wanna i kind of want Carson to come off the bench not gonna lie so i you know what i'm gonna look at shooting guards that i can maybe sign on a one-year deal and we can look at jj reddick Two years, I can give him 12 mil. I can always trade him. But, yeah, two-year, 12 mil, he can start. Tony Allen, I guess, is the cheap alternative option. It's a shame. Cal Pope will get re-signed. Is that Jamal or Jordan? Jordan Crawford. I guess we can give Deion Waiters maybe, like, a two-year deal. And I can always trade him next offseason, which I'd probably do. So, let's give him two years, 16 mil, and then we'll see what happens here. If I think I'm going to go Redick if we do have the option. Tony Allen, cool. Trey J. Redick goes to the Magic. We're just going to go the cheap option of... Tony Allen, because Waiters goes to the Sixers. I'll see you guys at the start of next season with what the rotation is going to look like. All right, guys. So, we're going to see what the CPU wants to do. So, they want to roll Russell, Allen, Jackson, Nance Jr. No, we are definitely starting Randall over Nance. Uh, we're going to give Randall 30. And then Zubach will be the center. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, so... Mo Williams, you're not getting minutes. We'll give Jared Allen minutes because he'll be the backup center because we're going to need another backup big man. Nick Young, 15. I'm fine with Rand uh, Ingram, I should say. Okay, we're going to put... Nance, honestly, yeah, that's fine. We're going to give you 20 minutes. We're going to give Ingram more minutes. Let's give Zubac 27. And let's give Russell Moore and Josh Jackson, who's like the main point of this video, more minutes as well. So Ingram might be traded this offseason if we feel like we have a log jam and I can get like a good big man for him. We might trade him in the offseason, but we'll see. So this is going to be the rotation. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. We, 
I like Josh Jackson. I like his defensive ability. He's probably the best defensive wing player in this draft. So we're going to see how we do. I think we can make the playoffs, but I wouldn't be surprised if we did not. So I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. All right, guys. So we finished the what would be the 2017-18 regular season. And Giannis wins MVP. I can't say I'm surprised. We're expecting to see this in the future. That would be very cool uh, if this happened next year. I don't think it will because I don't think the books are going to be that good where he would have win MVP next year. But I definitely think in the future he's going to be an MVP. The Suns get rookie of the year in six months. So obviously, Lonzo started there. Andre Drummond wins defensive player of the year. Most improved buddy healed like usual. Mike D'Antoni is the coach of the Clippers, and he gets coach of the year. So what I was also thinking, Giannis would be a dope cover athlete for NBA Live. And I'm excited for NBA Live, guys. I really think I got to mention it to you guys yet, but I've been saying it on Twitter. And I'm excited for NBA Live. Like, you're definitely going to expect a live. It's like a really dope My League concept mode. You're definitely going to see rebuilds from me on 2K and on My League, which I think would be cool. I think you guys would really like that. So did I, I don't think I saw any Lakers. I don't think I see, but we're, there's Tony Allen. I'll do for the second team. Okay. It's a really good year from a 36-year-old Tony Allen. And he played amazing defense. So, Josh Jackson does get all rookie first team. 11-6, 4.2, and two steals, and a blocking game. Like I said, he's very good defensively. So, we just missed out on the playoffs, which kind of sucks. We went 39-43, two games behind the eight-seeded Houston Rockets. And yeah, I've also been he hearing great things about my people are saying it's back, it's good, but it all matters on how that gameplay is. And hopefully they have a good, a good, um, a good my league concept. Like, if they allow you to implement draft classes that would be cool because i don't think they had that feature so that's a big one like i want to be able to use real life prospects so cool we don't make the playoffs it's not the end of the world i don't know if we have our pick but zubach okay ivica ivaka i i'm probably butchering his whole name i apologize very good season from him 13 and a half at 7.6 boards very good russell 27 and a half clarkson very good off the bench Jax, and we saw his numbers randall 10 8 and 5 honestly dude's a beast i think he's a free agent this year is he? Yeah, so he's probably going to get X for max deal if he gets a deal from somebody else. Ingram, eight points. Okay. And then Tony Allen did good. I know he goes over, his overall goes up if you move him to small forward, but I don't want to do that because we don't need him to because we already have enough small forwards with Jackson, Ingram, and Swaggy P right now. So the Bucks, look at Giannis winning the NBA Finals, and you know he's going to be Finals MVP. Wow, Giannis is showing out right now. He got the one CD MVP and Finals MVP. Wow. Okay. That is like the ultimate season as he gets it. Let's go to league meetings. Eliminate the draft lottery. No, no. Okay. I'm going to reject all of those. Let's go to the draft lottery. Imagine you can go up from 14. I don't know if it's possible, like, in 2K, that you can go up from pick 14 to 1. Let's see if it happens. The Magic got the number one pick, I think, like, two years in a row. And are we going to stay at 14? Are we going to get lucky? I think we're going to get lucky. Never mind. So, we're at pick 14 here, which is all right. And I can always make a trade because we do need a big man. It's a nice big man draft. I don't know if there's... Who's the great center? Popovich is available. Hello. We're getting Popovich and assistant coach. Let's get Luke Samuel. And I didn't give him a good contract. That was my bad. Okay, so we get Popovich. It's so easy to sign head coaches in this game. It's literally so easy. Let me... No, I did it again. I meant to give Luke Samuel a better, Samuel a better contract. Luke Samuel, take more money for me in more years. There we go. Please accept this. Mulling. Don't be mulling. Okay, he's mulling still. And we got him. Okay, so we get a new assistant coach and head coach. So, NBA draft time. I think I'm going to make a trade. Is it going to involve Brandon Ingram? Possibly. So, we have the 14th pick, and we have our pick next year. Who has, like, I want to look at the scouting. Obviously, you have Michael Porter. But DeAndre Aiden might be the guy we want to go after. He's probably going to go in the top three. So, we have to get pick three from who has pick three. Pick three. We, or we can go pick two from the Jazz. Why did the Jazz have that? So, my first this that's obviously okay josh jackson for me to go back that's actually a good deal i'm not gonna do that if i throw in brandon ingram he's a free agent crap okay jordan clarkson you might have to go i don't want to trade jordan though damn okay we're at a crossroads here josh jackson for gobert i would do ingram for gobert but i don't want to do this so i will give you uh first and a second so i'm giving up josh hart three first and two seconds for pick two damn it okay we're going to have to move on to pick three now. Who has picked three? And that is the Pistons. I think they're going to do this even if I keep that first. Wow, really? All right, I'll give you this first. And they do that. So we have the third pick in the NBA draft. I'm going to try my hardest to get DeAndre Aiden no matter what. And I'll see you guys in the signings with hopefully him on our squad. All right, guys, so we're able to get DeAndre Aiden at pick three. Porter Jr. went number one. Donich went two or Don Titch. I think it's Don Itch or something like that. Diallo goes four runner carter knox where did um robert williams he went nine okay he fell in the draft so obviously we're gonna go to rookie signs we're gonna sign him we also get this kostya mushidi guy he's a 69 overall in the middle of the second round that's not bad so i'm gonna sign him team player options russell obviously nance 
Ingram, Zubach, and I'll bring Jared Allen back. There he is, Paul George. I'm going after Paul George. I'm offering him a max deal. I, we're going to have enough cap, definitely. Randall's restricted, so I don't care. Nick Young in the minimum, why not? So, here we go, free agency. Paul George has an offer from the Kings. It's not even the Pacers. So, if the Pacers don't even offer him a deal, we can maybe swoop in here and get him. We're number one. I'm also going to throw a deal at DeMarcus Cousins, because why not? If we can pick him and maybe Paul George, knock on wood, that'd be dope. But I don't think we're going to get him. The Pelicans are probably, yeah, the Pelicans, he's definitely going to go back there, it looks like. Joel Embiid will offer a deal, but he usually just goes back to the Sixers, but it doesn't hurt giving him a deal. It's not going to hurt us. We have the money for both him and George. Anybody else we could wait on. So, after day one, Cousins goes back to the Pelicans. Please tell me Paul George. Okay, the Pacers offered him a contract, but we're still number one. We get George. Okay, here, can, please don't match it. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. We just got Paul George and Joel Embiid. Wow. Sometimes in this game, the Sixers don't match Paul George. I meant Joel Embiid's contract. Oh, Melo, you don't want to come here in the mid level exception? What about you, Aldridge? Really? All right, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is crazy. Okay, I'm going to try to get Randall low key now because then I think Melo and Aldridge might sign with us quicker. So I'm going to offer Randall a deal. We get Randall, we get Young. Perfect. Perfect. Can we get Aldridge? No, Aldridge doesn't want the minimum level exception. It's okay, though. But, wow. Okay, we just picked up Joel Embiid and Paul George. This team is set, guys. I might make a trade, though, for a shooting guard involving maybe DeAndre Aiden or Brandon Ingram because we don't really need their presence. Actually, no, Paul George is going to play shooting guard. So, it's going to be Russell, George, Russell, George, Jackson. Obviously, Josh Jackson, the point of this video. And then we're going to have power forward, I guess, being Red or Aiden. I might move his position. And then center, we're going to have Joel B. This team's going to be sick. I'll see you guys start next season with the starting lineup. All right, guys. So let's see what 2K wants to do. They want to put Jackson as shooting guard. Okay, I'm fine with that. So we're going to go Russell, Jackson, George. Why is Nance Jr. getting minutes? No. And then, oh my God, guys, this bench is filthy. I'm sorry, Zubach, you were great last year, but you're not going to get any minutes yet. Nance is going to get 10 minutes, and he's going to be the 10th spot. Clark's going to find with. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to give, okay, we got, wait, Zubach, what happened? No, Zubach, you're not getting any minutes. I'm sorry, dude. We're going to start, should we start Randall or Aiden? You know what, we'll start Randall. Yeah, Zubach isn't going to get really any minutes. So let's give him zero, and then we're going to give, what can I do here? Randall, you're going to get 30, and let's give, Three more to Jackson. Let's give him 33, and then we'll give the rest to kind of like Paul George. And the bench, maybe. And we don't have a 10th spot. And we're going to roll nine-man rotation out there. We'll get three minutes to Zubach because he was good last year. He'll get three minutes of time. So that is going to be for me, guys. This team is sick. I'll, I don't usually do this, but I'll do this now. It'll be George, Russell, and then we'll do Joel Embiid. Wow, Joel Embiid on the Lakers. That's crazy. So, yeah, that's going to be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. This team is definitely championship material. Let's see if we could go and win one. All right, guys, we're in the middle of March right now, and we are absolutely killing it. Hold on. I'm going to pause one second and get the playoff picture up on the board. So we are 51-15. and 15. We're the one seed, and we're the only team that has clutched the playoff spot in the western conference i'm sure we're probably gonna clinch the one seed soon but it's got yeah it's gotta be any game there it is so we're pretty much guaranteed for a lock for 60 wins we do have some l's like we just lost to the pelicans to the nuggets which are two teams or at least the nuggets are making the playoffs it doesn't look like the pelicans are demarcus cousins just should have came to la but actually i'm actually I'd rather have, I think, Joel Embiid because just it's Joel freaking Embiid. It's like one of the funniest players in the NBA, at least on Twitter. So LeBron gets back to his MVP ways. He wins MVP. Michael Porter Jr., Rookie of the Year on the Knicks. Brooke Lopez, Sixth Man of the Year for the, what team is he on now? The Pacers. So we know, obviously, he's backing up Miles Turner. Andre Drummond, Defensive Player of the Year once again. Will he get traded this offseason? I don't know, but I think it might happen in real life. Joel Okafor, Most Improved. Okay, don't usually see that, but that's probably because we have Joel Embiid now, so he's probably getting all the starting center minutes. Sidney Lowe, Coach of the Year. Not even us. Really? Okay, so on first team, no Lakers, but you see Harden, Westbrook, James, Giannis, Jokic. On the second team, Paul, Wall, Durant, Davis, Cousins, and wow, no Lakers. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. Any Lakers here? Wow. The only Laker we're going to get is probably DeAndre Aiden on all rookie second team. Really? Really, 2K? Okay, so we go 62-20. and 20. I'm ready to go win a championship, and let's do it. All right, guys, so here are the standings. We were 13 games better than the two-seeded Spurs, who have added Josh Richardson. They're going with Deont Deontay Murray, point guard. They've lost Marcus Aldridge, but they've signed DeAndre Jordan, so they're still pretty good. Thunder, they've added Robert Williams and CJ Miles, but they still got Westbrook. The Warriors, we have to face in the first round. Yes, they don't have KD anymore, but still, like, what? Where is KD? Oh, he's on the Clippers. Okay, he's on the Clippers with Chris Paul that we would have to face, I think, in the... Uh, the Western Conference Finals if we would meet them there. So player stats, Russell or Dandre Russell, 21 points and 8 assists. Still a great year from him. Paul George, 19 points, 4.8 boards, about 4 assists a game. Joel Embiid, 15, 8, 3 assists. Josh Jackson, 13, 
Eight boards. Wow. Good stuff, Josh Jackson. 2.3 steals, 1.5 blocks, and 4.4 assists. The guy can do it all. So this was the squad. Let's go into the vibes. I'm going to give us minutes or just keep these three away from Zubats. We're going to go nine-man rotation. We're going to give more minutes to Embiid and Russell, and we'll give more to Jackson just because he's the point of this video. So let's get into this. Round one against the Warriors. We could lose, honestly. Like, it could happen. But it's... Please. Oh, my God. Okay. You know what? All right, uh, why do we have to face the Warriors in the round, in round one? We got so unlucky, and we lose. I thought this team was a shoe and a win at all. All right, it's a Spurs-Warriors finals, and it's still, it ends up being a Warriors-Cavs-NBA finals. Ugh. Damn, all right, all right. So I'm pretty much just going to keep this team the exact same, honestly. I don't think I'm going to make any moves. I Yeah, I'm not going to make any trades, I think. But if Larry Nance Jr. wants a lot of money, I'm letting him walk. I'm pretty sure we don't have our draft pick this year because I gave it all up to get DeAndre Aiden. And, yeah, so we don't have any picks. Team player options, Jackson Ingram, Bushidi will bring back. So it's still a great free agency class. We could see maybe Marcus Saul wants the mid-level exception. Russell, Nance, Zubach, and Jared Allen are all free agents, which is not very good. He's going to ask for a max deal, but we can bring them all back, I'm pretty sure. I just want to see, will Marcus Saul want a mid-level exception deal? Wow. If we don't win it all next year, I swear, 2K is rigged. It is rigged against us if we don't win it all next year with this squad that we're about to build together. Wow, okay, hold on. Let me get Marcus All real quick. Let me get Marcus All real quick. Okay, this team is sick. Lionel Jr., mm, do I want to bring him back? Honestly, he's not going to get minutes because Marcus All is really just going to fill his role. So you can leave. I don't want it. I'm not matching it. See ya, Lyra Nance. It's been real, dude. So, yeah, I'm going to make sure I get Russell and all them back, and I'll see you guys at the end of next year's season. And I swear if we lose once again, I told you guys I'm winning a championship in today's video. So, I'm going this until we win one. If this team right here does not win an NBA championship, I don't know what to do. Of course, Bledsoe's on the Warriors. Whiteside's on the Nets. Nance Jr. goes on and wins most improved, of course, once he's not on our team. Well, he didn't play at all last year, I think. Uh, he got 10 minutes a game, so yeah, he improved 71 and 11. I swear, if we don't win at all, this game is rigged, but then we'll have to go another year because I said if we there's Josh Jackson, our only person, all defensive second team guy is a beast. I said I'm not stopping until we win a championship. We are the one seed, obviously, best record in the NBA by 13 games over the one seeded New York Knicks. Really. That's a pretty cool team they built. Oh, De'Aaron Fox, Kemba, Rodney Hood, Michael Porter, Porzingis. I'm kind of scared of that team if we have to play them in the finals. Player stats. I swear, you guys can pause and see. I did decide to move Joel and B to power forward because he goes up to a 91 instead, but now it says he's a 90. Well, he's going down one overall. Marcus Hall is our center at 89. So, yeah, if we don't win an NBA championship, I don't know what to do, guys. This is the rotation. We have two 90s. An 89, an 88, and an 84. If we don't win it, I swear, 2K, just please, don't lose in the first round. Thank you, we sweep. Rockets, okay, the Warriors got swept, or the Warriors lost. Okay, we win in five. Taking on the two-seeded Pelicans who have Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, and nobody else, pretty much. That's their team. Come on. Let's go. We're in the finals and we're taking on the Knicks. David Stern would have a feet. I'm not David Stern anymore. Well, the NBA would love this. David Stern would love this too. This is like two of the biggest markets, New York and LA going off uh, against each other in the finals. Please. I'm going to close my eyes. Please win. Please win. Next, that Knicks team was pretty good. Yes. Yes. We won a championship. Thank you. Marcus Saul of all people's finals MVP. That's weird, but we won in five. We finally won a championship. It took long enough with this amazing team. Guys, this was a dope team. We had three, six, seven, eight. 880s, a 79, a 78. This team was filthy, guys. Like, Logie, this team was really nice. That is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy it and want to see more off-season rebuilds. Let me know in the comments other suggestions. And like a comment you see so I know how to do that. Thank you all for 93K. We're 7K away from that big 100K, so subscribe if you're new. Also, I am doing an expansion realistic model week on my second channel. That link is in the description of my second channel. Go check it out. I did episode one yesterday. Episode two will also come out today as well. So thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.